The hardest part about pain is you could be the toughest person in the world and pain eventually takes over. Um, it, there's no beating it. You can try, I know I've tried many times, but the pain was at the point where it was getting depressing. It, it was affecting me mentally, physically, uh, not wanting to do things anymore. And that was the hardest part, is just trying to make a decision on what do I do now with my life. My name is Kenny Churchill from York, Maine. Uh, I grew up in Boston. I'm here at Churchill Barn. This is a barn that I had built and taken down. It's from the early 1700s and restored it to do weddings and events. I think I was probably maybe 10 or 12 years old getting hit so much just even in hockey and football and feeling pain. I went right into my rodeo career and was with Pro Rodeo. Uh, for 20 years and was on horses and stuff a lot before that. I was getting on over 100 bulls a year. Over the course of the years, chasing championships and finals, I put a lot of wear and tear, get stepped on, just riding, dismounting. So my body was definitely breaking down over the 20 years. And when you play professional sports, you're never really 100% anyways. You learn how to compete with an injury, whether it's a shoulder, whether it's a knee, whether it's an ankle, whether it's your hips. So uh, basically I looked at it more as an injury than I did something that was going on in my body with deterioration. When my career was ending, I was really feeling the aches and pains and it was just getting worse and worse and I wasn't sleeping at night. And then it came to a point where I was struggling just to put a shoe on or to take a sock off. And finally, I started asking around, I'd go to the gym and I would ask anybody that I knew had hip surgery or had ailments. And a lot of people brought up Dr. Sastry. So I learned more. I was real comfortable with Dr. Sastry, nicest guy in the world. He explained how the procedure went. I said, let's hurry up. Let's just get this done with. You seem like the right guy. You seem like the right place. So I had the first one done in February. It didn't matter which one was gonna be done first. They were both that bad. I couldn't get over that I was able to walk out that same day. And that's pretty amazing showing you A, technology, B, one of the best surgeons around. I knew after the first one how comfortable I was. I had the second one done in April. I was so excited that both hips were done. I had both surgeries done. I was complete. Felt like somebody put two new legs on me and that I was 18 again. I mean, I even, you get thoughts and say, geez, I wonder if I could ever ride bulls again. <laughs> This is the new part of life. This is the second chapter. When you're at this point of your life and being able to do everything in your life and compete at the levels you did to going from there to almost feeling like a nothing. Like I felt like I was not a part of anything, the world or anything anymore. So. Thank you, Dr. Sastry for all you did, buddy. I owe you big.